Welcome to another episode of the Wiseman Weekly. I'm your host, Abby Carnevale, alongside Ohio football reporter Nathan Wiseman, and we're here to talk a little bit about Bobcat football. So Ohio challenged Western Michigan last Saturday, and we knew it was going to be a tough game, but they lost 49-14, to so it was kind of a blowout. What really went wrong for the Bobcats? Well, yeah, the injury bug definitely caught the Bobcats, but ultimately they were just outmatched. Western Michigan's record doesn't really tell the true story of how good they are, and their young head coach, P.J. Fleck, had them prepared for this tough macro game here in Athens. Let's start off with the problems on offense. The key to Ohio's success so far this year has been their running game. They typically rely on Poppy White to make explosive plays throughout the game, but he went down with an injury in the first half, and he's expected to miss several weeks. But before that, they got off on the wrong foot. For the first time all year, they didn't score in the first quarter, and they never could really bounce back from that slow start. So you mentioned the injuries on the offensive side, but what about on the other side of the ball? I heard there were a few injuries on the defense that have really hurt the Bobcats. Well, yeah, t their top four linebackers went down in this game. They missed a lot of the first half, and they missed all of the second half, including their stud. Quentin Poling. He went down after only 11 plays, and when they're arguably the best linebacker in the mat goes down, it's got to hurt the morale of the team. Blair Brown, Jovan Johnson, and Chad Moore all suffered injuries as well. Those three are questionable for next week, while Quentin and Poppy will likely be out for several weeks. So a lot of young guys saw a significant amount of playing time last week, and it ended up allowing 430 rushing yards to Western Michigan. They're not going to come out on top of games like that. So this loss against the Broncos really was a tough one to swallow for Ohio, but they need to regroup and get back on track if they want to keep being successful in the MAC. They travel to Buffalo this Saturday, so what really needs to happen for them to get the win out of this one? Well, yeah, this one's going to be tough, and it's extremely crucial because Ohio really needs to win the rest of the games in order to have a shot at that MAC East title. And Buffalo's kind of in the same situation as Ohio right now. They're both coming off big losses. Buffalo lost huge to Central Michigan last week. So a couple guys to watch out for this week. Watch out for Anthony Taylor in this game. He's averaging about 88 yards per game. And wide out Ron Willoughby. He has 32 catches, 395 yards. A big 6'4 receiver. He has the size to haul in Joe Licata's deep throws. But I'm really looking forward to seeing who steps up on defense for the Bobcats with all of the injuries. Travis Doherty, Brian DeSillo, Evan Crouch, and Marcus Collins will be ready. And even running back A.J. Ouellette. He's been getting some reps in at middle linebacker this week and looking forward to see how much of an impact he can make on defense if they decide to go with him this week. Okay, so it's that time of the week. I need your prediction. What do you think is going to happen on Saturday? Well, I think the Bobcats are going to come out on top. It's going to be a tough one on the road. They need to find a new identity on defense with all the injuries. And on offense, they need to bounce back with uh, the poppy injury. But ultimately, I think the Cats come out on top with all the leadership that they have. 24-21, to 21, your close final score. Okay, well, we're predicting a Bobcat win here. But for coverage up until game time, you can follow us on Twitter at Bobcat Showcase or at WUV Sports. Give us a like on Facebook if you have a free minute. We have content up until game time about all of our players. I'm your host, Abby Carnevale, alongside Nathan Wiseman, reminding you to fight for the green and white.